last class i was explained regarding uh, the classifications of cam now we are going to concentrate about classifications of follower okay the followers are classified based on this following places one is based on the surface in contact another one is based on the type of motions okay based on the types of uh, surface in contact we will going to explain knife edge follower this is most commonly used type of follower uh, the follower edge is knife knife type and point contact we can say uh, higher pair we can say higher pair okay there is a line or point contact we will say higher pair only and uh, this type of knife edge follower uh, having more advantage okay and uh, next second one is roller follower instead of uh, giving an edge we will going to fix a roller on a follower uh, we can refer figure b in this the roller is fixed uh, and the roller will trace the shape of the cam and it will move along with it all are reciprocating type followers only we are going to we are seeing here and one is flat face follower flat face follower is a mushroom flat face follower is given in, instead of roller or knife edge type in that the flat face follower it will the flat face is in always in contact with the cam and it will trace the shape of the cam profile and one is spherical follower spherical follower is more advantageous this than other three type because the spear will be there and the accuracy will be constant because in knife edge follower if you are going to use continuously what happens wear and tear takes place between the knife edge because of that edge the edge gets worn outed and the there becomes a surface contact then the friction will be more and the, there is a wear and tear is also more in knife edge follower whereas in roller follower as usual that uh, roller will rotates means there is also a friction wear and tear will be more here in a flat face follower also friction will be more and the life of the flat, flat face follower is less when compared to spherical follower because the spherical follower if you are initially we are going to give a spear means the contact will be a point contact after that it will be reduced and it it is having more life when compared to a, uh, a flat follower that is the one thing another one is based on the type of motion as already told that cam follower is having two type one is oscillating follower another one is reciprocating follower next is based on the thing is oscillating follower oscillating means the just follower will oscillates okay this is also based on the applications only we'll going we'll going to use oscillating follower just oscillates in a figure a you can see it's a oscillating follower okay it is oscillates up and down like that and one is translating follower translating or reciprocating follower okay in more uh, at the top what we explain no all are reciprocating this this is our reciprocating follower this is oscillating follower okay this is uh, the classifications of the thing r one is the radial follower the line of movement of inline cam follower passes through the center that means oscillating or radial follower we can say the radial follower figure a shows oscillating or radial follower the line of movement of uh, uh, movement of, of inline cam follower passes through the center of the camshaft see here uh, the same thing center of the camshaft r one is offset follower for this type the line of the moment are offset from the uh, center of the cam see here uh, a is offset line follower follower is not at the center with the here the camshaft uh, camshaft axis and the follower axis is not same okay these are all called as offset followers okay A radial follower is we can give an example like this this is these are all radial followers and these are all offset followers okay offset follower means the follower axis and the cam axis will not be at the same axis it is offsetted okay <clears throat> this is which these are all the explanations which re regarding to classifications of follower